Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. What we're gonna look at today is different ways that you can upgrade your boat ready for the coming season. So there's three different main ways you can upgrade your boat. The first one, to upgrade it in a cosmetic manner. So uh, this might be, firstly, getting new sails. Uh, from a distance, the sails are obviously what you can see most clearly on the boat. So it is well worth considering replacing the sails. They don't necessarily have to be new for sails that you're gonna replace your old ones with. You can get sails from your local Hobie dealer or importer, which are X competition You may have seen in a Hobie 16 Worlds or European Championship, all the sails that the boats are using are the same. After the event, a lot of these suits of sails will go on sale a lot cheaper than a brand new set of sails. So that's well worth considering. If you are thinking of going down the route of getting a sail maker to make you some sails, especially for your Hobie 16, make sure that the sails are very accurate copies of the originals. If the sails are different, the boat will feel different and you want your boat to feel the same. The jib will be more necessary to replace more often than the mainsail if you're using the boat a lot. For us at Wild Wind, we perhaps uh, replace our Hobie 16 jibs once every three years and mainsails, if we're not replacing the whole boats, will last us around five years. But that is using the boats every single day of the summer in very strong UV conditions. The next a cosmetic upgrade on your boat would be the trampoline. A lot of Hobie 16s, especially the older ones, will have a PVC trampoline that doesn't allow the water to pass through and perhaps can get a bit sticky sometimes. Generally, it's an older style. To replace your trampoline with a newer mesh trampoline is a considerable upgrade and well worth considering. The trampoline is a key part to the rigidity of your boat, so it is well worth replacing the trampoline. If your trampoline is quite old, you won't be able to get the boat as tight. The next type of upgrades that you could look at, upgrades which will aid the handling or operation of the boat. So the first one, and something that's dear to my heart, is upgrading your rudder system. The most significant way you can upgrade your rudder system would be by getting yourself a set of EPO3 rudder blades for your Hobie 16. Uh, do see my video on EPO3 rudder blades. They are a bit more expensive than the other options, but in my opinion, they are well worth the investment. They really are a set of rudder blades for life. With the rudder blades, it might be worth you replacing some of the parts of your rudder system. A video you could watch here is the servicing your Hobie rudder system and see which of the parts perhaps you might need to replace in your rudder system. Maybe you just need to change your cams. Maybe you need to change the plunger which follows the cam as well. Perhaps the holes in your rudder stocks have become quite elongated over time which might mean replacing your rudder stocks. Also especially if you have an older Hobie 16 uh, you might want to consider upgrading your jib system, the way that the jib sheets work. I've seen quite a lot of old Hobie 16s that the jib cars just move by lifting a plunger, sliding it across, and then it's in the new position. With the modern Hobie 16s, uh, the jib system using a pulley, so you can actually adjust where the jib car is while you're out on the trapeze, which is very good and well worth considering the upgrade. The other upgrade you might want to consider, and this is quite an easy one, to replace the ropes on the boat. Not necessarily all of them, you might just want to change the ropes on the trapeze lines, perhaps replace the jib sheets, the trampoline lacing, things like that. And it is worth buying quality ropes because quality ropes do last longer than the cheap ones. And also, if you replace your rope with a cheap rope, the cheaper ropes stretch, which means you're not gonna have that positive feel. On a Hobie 16, one rope that is essential 
uh, that it is high quality is the jib halyard. If you put on a cheap jib halyard on your boat, this rope will stretch and the jib halyard on a Hobie 16 is quite long. So the amount that it will stretch is significant. So make sure it is of a high quality. And the third and perhaps most important way you should look at upgrading your boat, upgrade slash replace the rigging, especially the shrouds and the forestay, the bridle wires, things that are gonna hold your mast up. Replace the trapeze wires if they're more than a few years old. If you're sailing single-handed and you have a trapeze wire break, this could be quite a bad time. So it is well worth looking at the investment. So thanks very much, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. If you haven't looked back in the other videos that I've already made, it's well worth having a look back at the other videos that I've already made because there might be something there that might help you with your sailing of your catamaran. Thanks again to all of the people who have been supporting the channel by the many different means, especially the patrons of the channel using the Patreon thing, system, website. Okay, so thanks very much. And uh, yeah, time to dust off that ship.